Hi, Bob Guerin here. I just wanted to show everybody a very, very nutritious and very quick way to eat your salad and get a lot of your fruits and vegetables in and something that you can do ongoing with yourself and your family and it's you're going to be able to get all of the nutrients that you need without having to sit there and eat it. It's very very quick a lot of people like having green shakes or green smoothies and they're packed with a lot of nutrients so I'm just going to show you my version of that and I call it a blended salad but you can do any way you want so let me show you what I have in there so as you can see I have my Vitamix container it's got a bunch of stuff already in there it's got some tomatoes it's got some cucumbers it's got some celery it's got some avocados buried at the bottom there it's got some carrots it's got some sunflower seeds raw sunflower seeds it's got some greens some leafy greens as you can see right there and a little bit of purple green or purple um, leaves and there's the rest of it I'm actually gonna toss all that in there right now as you're watching so I'm hoping I don't spill here but it's a very quick way I have a huge salad um, either I eat it or I blend it so as you can see it's, it's almost filled up my entire Vitamix and it's the big container too so this blended salad is actually going to be mostly, but looks about half and half, half of the greens and then half of the other dense veggies. So the greens are going to get stuffed down once it gets mixed up. It's going to blend very fine. So it looks like a lot bigger than it actually is. And when it hits into your digestive system, it's going to be very good roughage to help keep you regular and give you lots of nutrition. Now, blending that salad right the way it is is probably probably going to be a little weird tasting and sometimes outright nasty depending on what kind of vegetable combinations you have and I'm sure you're wrinkling your nose up looking at it right now but a way that I found that makes it very very good is to toss a little bit of fruit in there just enough because I'm starting my meal I don't want to spike my insulin too high and then start storing or keeping fat on my body so I want to make sure that I can get the best bang for the buck so I'm going to put so today I'm going to put some strawberries in there and as you can see I chose Driscoll strawberries. They're organic and I got actually a, a good deal at Whole Foods on this. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. And I'm gonna put, these are pretty good sized strawberries. Very very good um, and fresh organic no chemicals on there. So that's four and six. Let me just toss one more make it even number seven. So that's one way to increase the flavor. Tons of vitamins um, strawberries are a great source of zinc so there's the strawberries on top another way to flavor it well, just a little bit and increase the uh, nutrition is the virgin coconut oil so I get this one 365 brand is Whole Foods brands because I ran out of my tropical traditions that's normally what I get from or uh, Nutiva both I get online very very good sources of gold standard coconut oil always virgin and always organic so there's going to be a medium chain fatty acid going in your body gives you lots of energy it helps um, allow you to get rid of fat that you have stored because it's a good fat going in so your body doesn't need to store or keep hold of the fat on your body so it's going to help move that as long as you're active so you want to always put that in there also coconut oil virgin unrefined coconut oil is antiviral antibacterial antifungal it's one of the only things in nature that really does a good job at killing fungus um, a, a very good thing at, at Candida fighting that and when you have a diet of Candida um, after that after you finish that, that Candida cleanse to introduce coconut oil into your your natural um, eating and you're gonna have a lot less chance of getting that back if you get athletes foot for example you could even topically put virgin coconut oil on there and it explodes the fungus molecules so just a, a little side note there so let's look at the rest of this here so we've got the salad, the fruit, and the coconut oil, which I'm going to put in there in a moment. Let me just put that up there. Put that there. So that's my Vitamix. And I'm going to open up my coconut oil real fast. And I kind of just guesstimate at what I'm putting in there. I'm going to, for uh, about a 
tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Sometimes I put two tablespoons in there. So it's going to give me the good nutrition. And it's got about 120 calories for the, the tablespoon. So it's a good amount of calories and it's going to be a very nutri nutrient-dense source for me and my healthy lifestyle. I'm going to put the cap on there. And we'll blend away. I like to get a, a good minute or so blend on there and, and make sure that everything's finely ground up so that I don't have any, any chunks. I don't I don't like the taste of anything chunky or texture. I've never been a fan of chunky peanut butter. So I'm gonna blend this pretty good. see everything is blended I like my shakes a little on the thick side but you can make it however you want this one's kind of medium and yes I know the color probably doesn't look the most appealing but it's not about the color as much as it is let me turn this camera around here it's not about the color as much as it is about the nutrition and it will taste good because the fruit will kind of mask any of the other um, tastes of the veggies that kind of fill in. Sometimes I throw blueberries in there, sometimes I throw raspberries, today obviously strawberries, uh, pineapple is a good one, banana is a great one to mask any flavor so it's very good and then you're getting all those nutrients just packed into one so let me give it a shot. Try it yourself, and if you have any questions, let me know. This is Bob Garen. See you later.